What's up? This is Metal Nate, and I'm here with Jonah from Bring Me the Horizon. How's it going today? What's up? I'm alright, thanks. Um, how is the AP tour going for you? Yeah, it's awesome, man. Um, all the bands are really cool. Uh, all the shows for the last two weeks or so have all been sold out, so I can't really complain. Excellent. And you just released There's a Hell, Believe Me, I've Seen It, There's a Heaven, Let's Keep It a Secret on October 5th. Um, I probably won't say the full name of that album again, it's a mouthful, but um, how have fans been reacting to it? Um, yeah, pretty good for the most part. I mean, we've read on forums, you know, which is where we usually get a lot of bad feedback, and a lot of people are kind of like just saying that they, they didn't want to like the album, but they can't help it because that they enjoy it and uh, all the all the magazine reviews have been really awesome all the fan feedback on Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that has been really positive yeah. you were on tour all summer though right after you recorded it on Warp Tour um, is it fun that is it fun now to finally be able to play the songs live yeah it's awesome I mean especially for me too because I'm a newer member of the band you know so play, playing the older material um, what you know, I was a fan of the band before I joined, so playing the other stuff was fine, but now that we're playing, like, songs that I actually had a part in writing, you know, it's... Yeah, it's like your first album. Me, you know? Yeah. How has that been for you to go from being a fan to being a rhythm guitarist for the for the band? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I, I knew the guys for a couple of years before I joined the band, and I've done a few tours with them. Um, so, yeah, it, I, I slotted in really well and we, we started writing almost right away when I first joined the band so yeah it was, it was straight into it and was Warp Tour fun for you guys? yeah it was probably probably the most fun tour I've ever done um, obviously it was a really long tour it went for like 6 or 7 weeks and we had a lot of other friends bands on the tour like You Me at 6 and Parkway Drive and oh, Every yeah. Time I Die yeah, so, I got yeah, yeah was there was good. just a lot of hanging out every day the weather was Great. There's lots of bike rides and free trips to Six Flags Adventure Park. Like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, man. Never, a, never a dull moment on, on the walk tour. No, you guys tore it up. I remember uh, I saw you guys in um, in Massachusetts, and you guys were like the second act on or something. You're right after Dillinger, and you guys had like a wall of yeah. death and everything. <laughs> yeah, man. It was awesome. We had a little had a little thing going that we we did every day. It's really weird, like, on Warp Tour, you, you try not to do stuff that the other bands are doing, but it's so hard to avoid, you know, like, I'm, I'm sure we weren't the only band doing the Wall of Death, but whatever, it was, it was a fun day, you know, we just try and make it a, a good experience for the fans to come out. How was it working um, on, on your first album with uh, Bring Me the Horizon with Frederick Nordstrom, who's worked with great bands like In Flames and Arch Enemy? I mean, that must have been great. Yeah, it was awesome. I, I've actually been lucky enough to work with him once before in a previous band that I was in, so it was it was really good to see him again and record with both him and Henrik, his, uh, his partner and assistant engineer. Um, the, the whole recording process was just, it was awesome. Like, the studio was quite secluded, so, you know, we had our, we didn't really have any distractions or anything like that, And but... There was enough stuff nearby that if we wanted to have a break and get away, we could just go for a walk down the street. Um, we had an Xbox in there, so we, if, if, we, if any of us weren't really too busy, we, we weren't getting too bored. But, I mean, it was, we, we were recording most hours of every day, like right into the late hours of the night. Wow. That, how, how fast did you record this album? Uh, we actually took six weeks on this record. I think the band took about four weeks on Suicide Season. So we gave ourselves a bit of extra time because we knew we wanted to have some extra production. And um, we had a, a few extra people collaborate with us on this record. So, And incidentally enough, we, we ended up running out of time and still not finishing the record in that six weeks. But it only took us a couple of days extra after that. to Yeah, you guys, completed. down to the wire, you, did it, you finished it up in L.A., right? Right before Warped? Yeah, that's right. We had most of the vocals and everything done. Ollie just put the finishing touches on uh, right near the beginning of the walk tour. And uh, you guys had several guest vocalists, including um, Josh from You Me at Six, another Josh from The Chariot, and um, Whites, who I've ne actually never heard of Whites. But um, how did you come to work with these artists? How did you get them to, to come aboard? Well, all, all three of them that we just mentioned are, are all good friends of ours. We've, we've met them, we've toured with them before, we've been, um, 
we've just been mates with them for a long time and we kind of had certain parts in certain songs that did call for a guest vocalist and we just picked them based on you know, us being a fan of their work and also the fact that we knew them made it obviously easy to contact them. So. Yeah, and um, I was going to say, Lights, she really does a great job on Crucify Me and on, um, there's another track, uh, track number five, that she does a great job on. Yeah, her voice is awesome. I mean, if you listen to her, her actual music, it's, it's kind of worlds apart from what we're doing, but we think yeah. that her voice worked really well on the songs that we chose for her. And yeah, every, we've had really good feedback about all the guests of course. Okay. And um, at your live shows, how many songs from each album uh, generally are you playing for your set on the AP tour and I guess afterwards? Uh, well, as, because of the new record only just came out a few weeks ago, we're kind of leaning the fans onto the new material. You know, we didn't want to come out and play all the new material right away because some people will be dis disappointed they, get, they don't get to hear the old stuff. So right now we're playing about three songs off There Is A Hell and about maybe five or six from Suicide Season and then a couple of oldies as well. Excellent. And um, I guess out of the new tracks, is there a favorite one that you like to play the most? Um, well, I'm, I'm excited to play all the new stuff. You know, it's, it's really weird when you first play a new song off a record and you've never performed it live before. It's, it can be kind of awkward at first, you know, you, you're not used to moving to that song and playing it live and being on stage and moving around. So after the first kind of week or two, when we started getting used to playing like songs like It Never Ends and Crucify Me, it, it felt a little bit better on stage, but it just gives a bit of a fresher feel for us in the band, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, are you guys at all shocked at how much you've exploded as far as popularity? I mean, you have 1.2 million fans on Facebook. That's got to hit home. Yeah, I mean, it's weird. Like, I don't think we think about stuff like that too often. But when we do, you know, sit back and take a look at stats like that, it's just, it is kind of mind-blowing. But, I mean, we try and stay humble about it all, and we just we just go from day to day playing our shows and doing signings and meeting groups and stuff like that. So it's just, I don't know, it's kind of become like normal for us almost. That's cool. It's good that you guys aren't, uh, I mean, I'm glad to see you guys aren't going, letting it go to your head or anything. Uh -huh. There are yeah, plenty of bands that do. Ourselves. Yeah. And why do you think you guys get so much hate from um, a lot of different, like, I guess, the more metal scene of the genre that you're in? Um, do you think that you guys have, like, a polarizing effect at all, maybe? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a lot of kind of, I, I guess, traditional or classic metalheads out there that they, they kind of feel that if a band's playing a certain genre, they have to look a certain way as well, whereas we believe nowadays, you know, like, we prefer to listen to a band first and then see what they look like rather than the other way around, or like, you know, a lot of those traditional elitist kind of metal fans uh, will judge a band based on their appearance before they've even heard the music. And it was funny that you mentioned Metal Hammer before, actually, because they did a piece on us where they they played our CD to a lot of um, really big artists from bands like Obituary and Fear Factory and like a lot of classic metal bands. And they, they never told them who we were. They just played them a clip and asked them their opinion of the song. Most of them said it was really cool and they liked it. And then they told them it was us and they kind of couldn't believe it. <laughs> I didn't know. I haven't seen that. I'm going to have to go look that up. Um, but uh, I guess a few more questions, I guess. These are just more random questions that hopefully you haven't been asked too much. Because um, I know you might do a lot of interviews, so I don't want to bore you with the same old... Um, what's the, what, what does the song mean question type thing? Um, if you could tour with any band, uh, past or present, who would you tour with and why? Um, honestly, like, I think for us at, at the stage we're at now, like, we, we tour so full time and so often that it's, it's almost more important for us to tour with bands who we are friends with and get along with rather than bands that we've kind of looked up to or have been fans of. So, like, for us, the perfect tour is probably, you know, a tour full of friends, like, dudes from Architects and Parkway Drive and maybe D's Nuts, bands like that, you know, they're, they're not necessarily big bands or bands that 
people to look up to, but if you've got like a tour full of mates, it just makes every day that much more fun. Okay. Well, those are big bands to me, so. <laughs> uh, right on. What, are, what, what about um, three items that you can't live without on tour? Three things. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty boring, <laughs> but uh, definitely my MacBook, um, probably the Xbox on the internet, and I guess my bike. Fair enough. Um, what country is the most fun to put to tour in overall? The most fun? I won't be offended if it's not the U.S., I promise. Oh, no, that's cool. Um... We have a pretty good time wherever we go, generally. Um, I always like touring Australia. I'm, I guess I'm a bit biased, but from what I've heard from a, a lot of other people, they love touring there, too, because it's just... It's, like, really laid-back attitude, and a lot of bands treat Australian tours like it's a kind of working vacation, so... Cool. Yes, that's my favourite. Okay. And um, I know you're booked to go back to the UK towards uh, the holiday time, um, like, towards Christmas. What do you guys have going next uh, for, t- for 2011? What are, what are you guys planning? Um, we've already got a bunch of stuff locked in up until about June. We're, um, we're going to do a full European tour in January. And then we head down to Indonesia for our first time ever. We're playing one concert in Jakarta. Wow. And then we're playing the Soundwave Festival tour, which is in Australia. Uh, two shows in Japan. And then we do an American tour, which we, we can't really announce yet. It hasn't been announced, but it's okay. going to be pretty rad. Is it going to be hitting up the entire U.S.? Yeah, it'll be a full tour. I think it goes for about six weeks. That's incredible. Okay. Well, I'll, I won't I won't pry any more about that then. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be an, announced pretty soon. Okay. Um, so, I just want to thank you, thank you so much for doing the interview. Um, I really appreciate it. Yeah, anytime, man. Cheers.